Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm gonna to talk about thermostat wiring. We're gonna troubleshoot at the thermostat, we're gonna troubleshoot at the control board, we're gonna talk about color coding, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you where each wire goes to. So follow me and I'll show you. Hey guys, thanks for being here. Uh, to understand low voltage, let's provide line voltage to our furnace inside your house and to the condensing unit outside your house. So from your main breaker up here, there's gonna be a 15 amp breaker. And it's gonna go to your furnace and the power is gonna stop by a junction box where there's a switch and that switch is supposed to be right next to your furnace, just like you chose here. You might have an extension cord to an outlet or other different ways, but it's supposed to be a switch just like that next to the furnace. And then uh, when it's in the off position, no power goes to the unit, but when you turn it on, 120 volts go to your transformer, and then it's gonna step it down to 24 volts. And from here, it's gonna go to the control board, and it's gonna stand by for whenever the thermostat calls for heat. This is the breaker box, the number one breaker. Single pole, single throw is for my furnace and it's 15 amp. So only a hot and a neutral comes out of there. So this is the furnace inside the house and that's the switch that is on the side of the furnace and it's an on and off switch and that pipe goes all the way to the breaker box so the power 120 comes from the switch to here and then it goes inside and then it goes to this switch this switch is then on and off and it gives power to the whole unit if the door is on it presses the switch so everything is working and uh, when you remove the door this is in the off position so the power goes to the switch and to the transformer and uh, so this is your transformer it's 120 volts and 24 volts coming out so I'm gonna check and we have 122 and that's the primary side of the transformer now we're going to check our secondary side and that's 27 so from the transformer the 24 volt side the blue and the yellow goes to this molex, molex plug and then it distributes 24 volts uh, to different parts of the unit okay now let's go to your condensing unit which is outside your house so main breaker box 240 volt double breaker 120 and 120 that makes 240 and it's gonna go the same to a, a disconnect switch that is supposed to be within 50 feet of your condensing unit. But of course you want it closer to your condensing unit rather than far away. So 240 volts are gonna stop here. And when you, when you disconnect the switch, power stops here. And when you put it back, power is gonna continue to your condensing unit and the first place you're gonna stop by is gonna be the contactor coil, right here, just waiting for you. Call for cool. And my furnace breaker is this one here. It is 20 amp double. So it's a, it's a 240 volts for my condensing unit outside. And two hot wires come from here, one here and one there. So this is our condenser unit outside and if you see here this is the pipe that comes from the breaker box to the disconnect 
and there's a disconnect here that you would pull out to cut the power and then 240 volts come here through this hose and then um, there's 240 volts here so now let's talk about the thermostat now once you remove the front cover of your thermostat you're gonna see some letters on your uh, on your sub base R W G Y C and you're gonna see some wiring like this that is gonna be attached to those uh, layers. So uh, let's start with a uh, color code. So on your thermostat, you're gonna see some letters like R, W, G, Y, and C. So R, you're supposed to have a red wire and that wire goes from R on your thermostat to R on your control board. W is for heat and it's gonna go from W on your thermostat to W on your control board. G is the same, Y and C. Now, this color coding is to help us understanding, to help us troubleshooting, it makes it easier for us, but even though you're supposed to keep the red on red, the white on white, uh, sometimes technicians or homeowners change the colors because it's more convenient is if a wire broke and they have an extra set of wires uh, in 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 the in their cable they're going to use it instead of running a new different wire okay guys so we have um we have two set of wires going to our control actually one goes to the control from the thermostat and then the other one the two wire goes to the condensing unit so let's go by one by one so we have the green wire goes to g and then we have the blue that is supposed to be yellow right is going to y uh, now remember the color code is important but it's not definite uh, it helps us to troubleshoot, it helps us to uh, make everything easier, but in this case, the blue is supposed to be yellow. But you just have to know that uh, the wire, whichever color from Y on the control goes to the Y on the transformer. And um, on the Y, we have as well uh, a red wire that is from our, it goes to the condenser unit outside and then we have the white wire to the W I don't know if you see the W there and then another white goes to the uh, common terminal and our power which is the red wire now remember um, there's another a set of wires a set of two wires goes to the condensing unit outside which is the C which is white right now the C and then the red one that goes to uh, coming from white that goes to the uh, contactor coil on the condensing unit so this is my thermostat now I'm going to remove the base now let's see the wiring Now you could see that the Y is yellow, the green is G, W is white, and red it's R. So somewhere along the way from here to my control box, my Y yellow wire changed. Remember it is blue on the control box. So who knows who did what, but um, here is yellow and to the control it's blue okay so um this is my furnace and the wire comes uh to the control to the thermostat here but then there's pigtail there's another wire so that's why our blue is yellow and our yellow is blue 
so I solved I solved that mystery. That's where troubleshooting comes along. You have to know what uh, what part of the furnace does what. So just don't go by colors. Okay, so let's go back to the thermostat and I'm gonna show you what happens when you call for heat or when you call for cooling. Let's start at your furnace. Now remember there's 24 volts waiting here for you for whenever you decide to call for heat. So let's suppose um, it's cold in your house, it's uh, 65 degrees and you just got home and you, wanna, you want to be warmer so you call for heat. You wanna set the thermostat to a higher number of whatever temperature is in your house right now. So if it's 65, set it to 72. So what happens when you, when you call for heat, R and W are gonna make. Remember, there's 24 volts already here in R. So when you call for heat, white is gonna make, R and white make, and it's gonna return 24 volts to your control board. And there the control board is gonna tell uh, the inducer fan motor to turn on and then the pressure switch and then the control and then the igniter and then the gas valve and then your furnace is going to start and then after 30 or 60 seconds that your furnace is started um, G is going to make so R, W and G are going to make and when that happens your indoor fan blower is gonna start and then it's gonna send uh, circulate air through your whole house. Once your thermostat is satisfied, it's gonna cut the power to everything. Okay, now let's go on cooling mode. Uh, your apartment, your house is very hot and you're gonna call you're gonna lower your thermostat to 70 degrees, and right now it's 78 degrees in your house. So when you, when you turn your thermostat down, R, Y, and G are gonna make at the same time. Now remember there's always 24 volts at R, so 24 volts are gonna go back to the control board, and it's gonna send power through Y and C to your contactor coil. And remember there was 240 volts waiting here when the contactor coil closes it's going to allow the power to go to your condenser to your compressor and remember G is going to make at the same time so that's for your indoor fan contrary to uh, with the furnace you have to wait 40 60 60 seconds for uh, G to make on cooling, you, it makes right away. So, so on your indoor fan blower, you have different speeds. So when you use your cool, it's gonna be the uh, high speed because cool, cold air is heavier, so it's gonna take more energy to move your air. When you call for heat, it's gonna be the medium velocity because air is warmer so it's easier to to push easy to move and when you call on your thermostat you might have you're going to have a switch or fan on and auto when you turn your switch to on it's going to be the slow speed on your on your indoor fan blower Okay, so when you go to a service call, what you could do, the first thing you do, you can go to the thermostat and put it to, set it to on. And if the indoor blower comes on, that's gonna tell you a few things. It's gonna tell you that you have line power, that you have 24 volts, that the indoor fan blower works, and the wiring of the G works on your thermostat. Okay, so let's troubleshoot at your thermostat. Once you remove the cover of your thermostat, if you jump R and W, your furnace should come on. 
if you jump R and G, the indoor blur should come on. If you jump R and Y, your condensing unit outside should turn on. Never jump R and C because that would be a direct short. Now the thermostats that use batteries, you should replace them at least once a year. If your thermostat is not working very well, change the batteries, even though you see some numbers and, uh, and lights in the thermostat, sometimes uh, there's enough power to light it, but not enough power to make the switching. And by changing the batteries, it might uh, work again. So that's very important, change your batteries. C on your thermostat is to give power to provide 24 volts to the thermostat. Newer thermostat uses a lot of energy so they can get the power from your control board through C. Some thermostat uses C or you can charge them with, a, with an AC charger and it might last a whole year, but it's better if you give the power through C. Now, um, you can do the same, the troubleshooting on your control board, so you don't go up and down to turn the thermostat on and off. You can, you can turn the thermostat off and then go to your control board and you can do the same, jumping R and W, R and G, and it, it, if you jump R and W, your furnace should come on. R and G, your indoor fan. R and Y, your condensing unit outside. Now let's um, jump some terminals so you know what it does and what you can do here by the control board and you don't have to go to the thermostat. So let's jump. Now remember, if you jump R and C, that's a direct short and your uh, fuse and maybe the transform transformer will burn out. So don't jump R and C. Let's jump R and W. That's the heat. Uh, the furnace is going to go through the sequence of operation. It's going to turn the fan and it go, it's going to go through the whole process. So for these practical purposes, we're not going to go through it. But you know that uh, if you jump R and W, your heat, your furnace will turn on. Now let's do um, R and Y. I don't know if you heard that, uh, but I hear my compressor outside running. And uh, now let's let's jump um, R and G, which is the crane, and the indoor blower is this one. So uh, that should run when we jump R and G. Okay, if you're having trouble with your wiring, with your wiring if you have shorts, if, if the thermostat doesn't work, or if the unit is working when it doesn't supposed to, you, have, you might have a short, two wires by me touching, making contact so the unit runs when it doesn't supposed to. So we're gonna use a um, digital uh, multimeter and we're, we're gonna use the continuity feature. So, uh, so for example, if the weed walker hit this wire and these two wires are connecting together, they're gonna be a short. And at the same time, here on your thermostat, if, if you put a new picture or if you uh, did something on the wall and put a nail or a screw 
through the wires. If a, if a screw is in between R and W, your heat is going to run even when you're not calling for. So what you could do to check the integrity of the wiring Say you can come to the uh, to, to the contactor. You can you're gonna remove the two wires. And then you're gonna remove the other two wires, the one that go to C and the one that comes to Y. Now you're gonna put them together. And then, and then you're gonna touch the other wires here. And see, there's continuity. That tells you that the integrity of the wire, of the red wire and the white wire is in good shape. Now, if you remove them here, so nothing is touching and you touch these wires and it's giving you continuity, that means that these two wires are touching somewhere, somehow, so then you have to find it, repair it, or install a new wire. It's the same with the thermostat. If you drive a nail or a screw, for whatever reason, if you hang a picture, and these and these are touching, so let's remove our um, uh, I want the white, the red and the white, and then the red and the white. So you're gonna do the same. If you touch, you disconnect them here and disconnect them here. If you touch the wires and it gives you a beep sound, there's a short and there's a problem with the wire. But if you put them together and then touch the wires, that tells you that the wire is healthy. So let's suppose you don't have a thermostat for whatever reason, or it's not working, or you are on the constru construction side and you don't have a thermostat yet. You need heat or you need cool. If you need heat, you can put the red, the white, and the green wires together on a wire nut, and that should give you heat. Now, remember, it's gonna give you heat, but it's not gonna stop it. So you have to undo it and then do it again as you need. The same, the same way if you need cool in a summer, you get the... Now with cooling, it's the same thing. You have to get the red wire, the yellow wire, and the green wire. And that should give you cool air conditioner, but you have to turn it off and off as you need. Well, that's it for today. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you next video.